So you know like in so many trials, they try to prove who pulled the trigger. Or you know, the, um, the defendant will claim I'm, I'm not guilty of pulling the trigger. In this case, we knew who pulled the trigger. The bottom line though for the defense was, what was the motive behind pulling that trigger? The prosecution painted it as that she was cold, calculated, she's a murderer. The defense said, hold on a minute. She was only 15 years old when she entered into a relationship with her sister's husband. He manipulated her into having sex with him. They had an affair that continued for eight years. And how could a 15 year old make a decision like that? You know, that she was manipulated, that she was a victim in this, that she was a 15 year old per girl that started having an affair with her sister's husband, didn't know any better. As the years went on, she was controlled by him. She was manipulated by him. Then she starts a relationship with an, another man, same situation, controlled and manipulated. That she would do anything a man would tell her to do because that's the way her mind worked. You know, she had PTSD. She suffered from, a, you know, she suffered abuse, emotional abuse, um, battery from these men in her life and said that she should not be culpable. She sh there is no way that she could have made these decisions on her own. That's how they tried to paint her. Terry vehemently supported Victoria. Terry was Victoria's voice. Terry kept on saying, my sister is the victim here. My sister was in an inappropriate relationship when she was only 15 years old. She was manipulated by our brother-in-law. She is the victim. She is not responsible for this and um, was very, she was extremely angry that Victoria basically went down for this. Extremely angry. She did not feel that, and she, and, and Victoria was sentenced to three life sentences. And the way Terry saw it, Terry was so angry because she felt that the real suspect in the case was the victim, Jeffrey, that he was a child rapist, that he was in a, you know, he manipulated her younger sister into this, into this web of deceit and then he would continue to lure her and manipulate and control her and she would do anything that he wanted her to do. And then of course, her other sister who was blind to all of this or appeared to be blind to it and had no idea about this going on in the first place. The scandalous relationship that was at the heart of this crime between a sensual instructor and a teacher's pet who'd do anything to please her.